Every once in a while you get a really good fan-made game that's definitely worth checking out. Sonic Triple Trouble originally released back on the Game Gear in 1994. Since then, the fan has actually gone back and remade the game in the original Genesis style art. As a big fan of the Genesis titles, I was pretty excited to try this one out. Chronologically, Triple Trouble takes place after Sonic Chaos, but you don't have to play that one before you jump into this one. As with most typical Sonic titles, the story revolves around Sonic the Hedgehog and Tails as they embark on a mission to prevent the familiar chaos emeralds from falling into the hands of Dr. Robotnik. Knuckles has also been deceived by Robotnik in assisting him in his quest. Knack the Weasel, a treasure hunter, is also on a quest to find the emeralds. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this fan-made remake, so let's take a look at it. As of recording this video, a couple days after it came out, you can see he's already occurred over 700,000 views on his project. From the screenshots alone, you can tell a lot of love and care was put into the development of this title. Shockingly enough, the entire title was rebuilt built from scratch using Game Maker Studio. Overall, from these screenshots, I think the game looks absolutely fantastic. It definitely looks like it was professionally designed. The game is also free to download and you can install it on Windows, Android, or Mac. I'm definitely going to install the Windows version on my iNeo Air and I'm going to put that Android version on my Retroid Pocket Flip. Triple Trouble 16-bit also has a lot of extra features that weren't in the original. You can tell that he was really going for a polished release like Sonic Mania. If you grew up playing the original Sonic titles on the Genesis, I think you're gonna absolutely have a ton of fun with this game. The fact that he managed to jam all these cool features into a Game Maker Studio game is absolutely amazing. That's enough about the game though, let's download it and take a look and see how it is. <laughs> The first thing we see when we load it up is this really awesome little intro. Love this. Just a heads up, this is the Android version, so let's start a new story mode and I'm going to start a new one here. I had a previous save, but I didn't get very far. I have to say though, this pixel art is definitely stealing the show. Everything down from springs to picking up Sonic is Tails. All the original mechanics from their first games that we know and love. I have to say though, I definitely didn't expect going Super Sonic on this first boss. Obviously this isn't going to take very long. A few moments later. Why? He's done a really good job on these little sprite designs and the pixel art. In the minigames, you're supposed to race Knack the Weasel to get the Chaos Emerald. Unfortunately, I've never been able to beat him in the multiple tries that I've tried this, so it's definitely a lot harder than I expected. As typical with most Sonic titles, you definitely gotta collect the rings to keep your timer up and get your speed going, then hit the boost pads to go quicker and watch out for the spike balls. It doesn't matter which Sonic game these are in, I always have a lot of fun playing these. I do think these are harder than the Genesis minigames though. Part of me is still shocked by how professional this entire game feels. It definitely feels like it came directly from Sega. From the level design, to the characters themselves, and all the sprite art, to the soundtrack, everything about this game just feels so polished. I know I keep saying that, but this guy's done an incredible job on this game design. So overall, what kind of person would I recommend this game to? Well, I definitely wouldn't recommend it to your average Sonic fan. This is definitely a Sonic game for the people that grew up playing the original Sonic titles on Genesis. With this game being so widely available, especially on systems like Android with a lot of these handhelds that have a controller built into them, it's just absolutely catered perfect for them. If you're new to the Sonic franchise, I definitely recommend checking out those Genesis titles first or some of the Dreamcast ones. If if you're more used to modern titles, definitely check out the Dreamcast ones first. Sonic Adventure is definitely a great series and I think you'll have a lot of fun with that. If you enjoy these short little game announcements slash somewhat reviews, let me know and I'll try to make more in the future. If you're aware of any other fan made games as good as this one, let me know. I'm definitely willing to check them out and maybe make a review on them. If you do end up giving the 16-bit Sonic Triple Trouble a try, let me know how you like it. I think this is actually going to become a staple game that I install on all my Android handhelds. 
I didn't want to bore anybody with the technical aspects of the game, but here's the options menu. You definitely get a wide variety of different options to select. Special thanks to all the subscribers already that have helped build up my channel. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Anyways, I hope you had fun listening to me rant and enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.